Janet Kuyper is with us once again. She is multi-talented. She is a poet, a performance artist, a singer, a songwriter, and who knows what else. Janet Kuyper. Because um, you were singing a song about whales, and I thought that would be fitting since I happen to have proof copies, especially when it's over 100 degrees out, to have a book of Antarctica photos of got Antarctica wildlife. So I might as well show the first humpback whales that were around in 2017. <laughs> but, oh, wait, she's not even there to see it, but come on, humpback whales. Um, but yeah, I'm super thrilled that I got these copies of these books. They're going to be released. I don't know what day I'm putting them out, but they're, this one is a full-color photo book, and it has a select few poems that I wrote while in South America and Antarctica that are at the end of this. I also have another one that talks about wildlife and such, but I just wanted to share that I got these books. And I thought that was so cool. But what I wanted to share with you was three poems from this collection book called Chapter 38. This is volume one. These are a series of books of past performance art shows. Um, so I thought I would read for you three from this book, and they will all be from the same show. So I was picking the show Questions in a World Without Answers. I think that was in like 2004 or something. And it's all about different perspectives that you get when you see different things. So that's what these three poems will be. This first one is called Russians El Garage Sale. At our annual garage sale this year, all the old couples came walking by. They were from the Russian neighborhood. They could barely speak English. And they would pick up an iron. How much? Four dollars. Fifty cents? <laughs> no. And it was a warm Indian summer day, and we're all clad in shorts and sunglasses. They would point at an iron, a toaster, a blender, all for a dollar? <laughs> no. <laughs> and the older couples would be wearing raincoats and scarves wrapped around their heads. They would pick up a wine glass. How much? 25 cents. How about 10? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and these two, um, these are from Chicago performance art shows. So these are two different poems, uh, Private Lives, one and four, about being on the elevated train in Chicago, Illinois, as you're driving around on the L. This is Private Lives, one. Why do these chairs have to face each other? They say Americans need their space, need their privacy. And here I sit, briefcase in lab. Well, the uh, one, the, uh, he sits right across from me, staring. I, I can't look, I, I can't. He has to see my eyes darting, my tension, my privacy in this edge of his vision. I see his dirty clothes, his dirty hair, dirty mind. Will he watch me get off? Note which stop I take? Watch me walk, too. <laughs> this one's Private Lives 4. Oh, there's four of them, so I'm sharing you two of them. And they were in the show, so. You can hear the gears speeding up, slowing down. I have seen into others' lives. A woman with two children, one sitting in a stroller, one standing, you get on the train. She pulls a scarf from around her neck, her glasses off. She reaches into her bag, finds a square of folded tinfoil, carefully opens, pulls out a tissue, folds the tinfoil, puts it away, wipes the children's noses. The standing child sees writing on the back of her Batman doll. What does that say? Made in China. Is that his name? This was the window I was looking through. Thank you. Yeah. 